Hi everyone, welcome to PTV Dula. My name is Dusayune Macrodin. I work at PTV Dula, also known as Pit Pampers. In this video, we are going to show you how PTV Dula received and process the customer demand until they are served. Once again, you are welcome. Here we received the calls from different marketing channels, including our customer we, we have served before, uh, our customer who have seen our branded track, uh, from our customer follow, our social media, our website. We have two categories of customer who call to our call center. The first are the customer who need to know information about our emptying service. The second are the customer who need to be served. For the customer who need our service, we explain to them our emptying service and our price. Once they accept our price, I ask them their name, location, a marketing channel, and I send to, to customer service agent through WhatsApp in order she may move to next step. Hi everyone, I'm the student Marie Grass and I work as a customer service agent at Pit Vidura. Or oh, as my colleague said, oh, I'm going to show you the different stages that we follow when you are serving our clients. Oh, she just explained after getting a lead, we schedule the lead on pit evaluation stage, uh, we send the, the contact information that collected by the call center agent to pit evaluator so that pit evaluator could correct the different information that we need when you are serving our client. Those information include load accessibility so that we can know the truck that we shall use when you are serving the client or length of the host that we will use or the method that we use when we are emptying for that client either we will use uh, the truck only or we will use barrel system the trash amount of the trash which are in the pit the depth of the pit or the accessibility of water and electricity if especially when we will use the submersible pump to serve the client and also for signing the contract with the client. This is the leads group where the call center agent put the information of the client that she received. Then I copy this information to PIT evaluation group on WhatsApp so that PIT evaluator can get the information of the client that he is going to evaluate. After scheduling for evaluation, we, I go back to the lead group to record the client in the system that we use called Salesforce. Or this system helps us to keep the different information of the client and different stage that the client is on. Or to record the client in, in Salesforce, I just open the leads and just start recording the client with their names, uh, location, and their phone number. Oh, after saving, I convert here on the lead from lead to opportunity. I, com I do the conversion because it's a hot lead, it's a lead who needs the service. I just convert to make the lead into an opportunity. After converting the lead, now we can see that our lead will be in the opportunity or new and scheduled. After getting new and scheduled, we just schedule for evaluation so that we can get the 
evaluation information in our system. At this stage, it's where we wait for PIT evaluator to send us the information so that we can record those information in Salesforce. As PIT evaluator is on the site, he, the PIT evaluator sent the information that he corrected when he's doing the evaluation on WhatsApp group for the quick information and also he sent back again those information on the software that we use called Kobo so that we can store the information for the future use. Oh, I just went on a WhatsApp group called uh, Pit Vidura Operation so that I can record the information that the lead, the Pit Evaluator has been corrected. I just feel in Pit Evaluation, the date that I scheduled for Pit Evaluation, the date of Pit Evaluation here is the date that Pit Evaluator evaluated the client. I record the PT type, either it's a pit latrine, a soap pit, a tank, or um, another pit type. I just choose the pit type and get the depth of the pit or the name of pit evaluator. It's the person who did the evaluation or the track that the pit evaluator has so that we use when we are emptying. It's an exhausted truck, and we have different exhausted truck. We have one we called ET1, ET2, and ET3. Oh, this truck I named by, based on their, their capacity, on their cubic meter that, that they can hold. And the time of emptying either in the morning or in the afternoon, or oh, if the client specified the time that we should empty for her or him, we just record also the preferred date that the client wished to have the service and also record the client the date that we empty for him or her when he did not he specified the time. We also record the GPRS that Peter Evaluator corrected where we serve the client and then save those information, then move the client to the next stage called PIT evaluation stage, PIT evaluation completed. Here we are waiting for the client to pay for the first installment so that we can schedule the client for the service. Or when the client pay for the, the first installment, most of the clients they called on the call center number or the, we, we can see the payment if the client used the mobile money and we can call the client to confirm their payment. And we just record the first installment that he paid here and the payment deposit as their first installment. Then we record the date that the client paid and the payment mode we could do. Maybe the client used Momo, Bank, or check. Then we save and move the client on the next stage of empty service scheduled. Here the client is the client is saved for having the service. At this stage of empty service scheduled, when a client paid a premium price and the truck is available. We send the information to the team reader and the truck could go to serve that client. When a client paid a cluster the price, we confirm the payment with the client and we inform the client that we, he or she could wait for one to five days so that we can get the second client to cluster with, with, with that one who paid the first installment before. Oh, to get the second client, we either wait for the, call, the new list to call from, through call center form, or we can go in our system in Salesforce. We look into Salesforce in the client that we have, which are pending, especially those who are at pit evaluation completed the stage because we have the full information of the client, and we could do a follow-up.
to do follow up we call the client and just ask the client like they requested for the service in the past and we could find a way of turning them into the client so that we can we can serve them if the client agreed to pay we cluster with that, that client who paid the first installment and we give them the date and the time of emptying. The customer to be served, I send the information to the team reader and the team reader with the team go to serve the client. When they reach to the client, they just give the service to the client and after serving the client, the client pay the second installment. When the client pay the second installment, the team leader either go to the second client if it's a clustered client, or go to the dump site when it's a client who pay the premium price. Oh, after serving the client, also we we go we come back in Salesforce to record the information and how the service goes when the team with the team reader are serving the client. Into the Salesforce, we call the contact of the MTR who, empty, who went to empty for the client. We record the dump date. We also record empty start date and empty end date if it take for the second days. Or oh, then if we use barrel system, we record the number of sludge, or if it's not the barrel system that we used, we don't record, we record just zero. We, if we use exhaustor truck, we, we record yes, or if it's a flatbed truck, we, we record no. Number of trash or solid waste that, that was in the pit. The total barrels, here the total barrels shows the number of sludge and the number of trash if we use the barrel system. And we record the number of trips, either one or sometimes we do more than one trip. Uh, and also we record the driver who, who were with the team reader. After recording all the information, I of emptying the uh, sometimes there is also the information given by the team reader about how the service was if there was an error we also record that error we, we record error dates error time and type of error here uh, most of the error that we record it's like an example when we went to empty and the client that we're emptying for, there is a tenant who lived there, but the owner of the pit is not, is not there. And it took a long time to pay the second installment. Those errors, we record them so that next time we can inform the owner of the pit so that we cannot waste time again. Then I save and move the client to the empty service completed stage. Oh, this is the final process of how we empty the client, but after moving to the client to the old stage, also record customer satisfaction survey. Customer survey help us to know or how the, our client has been satisfied with our service and how we can improve with our service even. Also how, what we can continue doing which makes our customer happy. There we record the, the date of survey on, and the rate of how the customer satisfied and what they think that they, we could change about our service and other compliments or suggestions of the client. As you have seen, oh, we showed you the different stages that we, uh, we used when we are serving our client. Everyone who is seeing this video would wonder why we are moving through all those processes. But as PTV Dura, those processes help us to know which client end that we are having, to estimate the next empty date that we should empty for the client, especially on repeat customers. Like here, we record with the previous empty date, and when the customer come back for the second time, we, we caught 
that date and it should generate the estimated next empty date. It also helps us to do not do the evaluation, which helps us to save the money. Like for the pit customer, we do not do the evaluation again because we already have the information of the client. Oh, also, it helps us to track the errors when there was an error which happens in the past. We cannot repeat the same error. Also, oh, Salesforce helps us to know to, or to generate different reports about uh, the opportunity that we get by which source that we get the opportunity, the different stages that our clients are on. Or the sales, our sales performance either weekly, monthly or per year even a quota, also the customer type, either household or, or, or corporate client, even pending opportunity, Salesforce help us to know how we can do the follow-up with our client based on the client who, which are pending in our system. It also help us to generate the, how, the LTC time, like how long our client took, to, for, took in the Salesforce process from the date that we acquire the client up to the date that we serve the client. Oh, this are, these are the process that we followed when you are serving our client. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye-bye.